Hey YouTube, this is uh, EB here bringing y'all a tutorial on iDVD. There you go. So go ahead and open up an iDVD application. Uh, if you don't have it on your dock, you can just go to Spotlight, type in iDVD, click on it up. All right. Once iDVD menu comes up, uh, let's walk through just a basic um, overview of the menu and stuff like that, and what iDVD offers. Um, Apple has has really done a great job on iDVD. They've had iDVD for a while. This is not a new Leopard thing. Um, so if you have Panther or whatever, you should have iDVD. And all you need for iDVD is either an external DVD burner or you need uh, a super drive, which is built in, obviously, uh, in your computer. I've got a super drive on my MacBook Pro, uh, so I, that's why I usually use mine for it. In the main menu, you have four options. You have a create a new project, open an existing project, make an I, a magic ID, iDVD, or a one-step DVD. Now, the first two are pretty much self-explanatory. If I just want to start from scratch, I'm going to create a new project. If I already have a iDVD project open, I mean, if I made an iDVD project, I want to go back to it, um, wherever it is in my folders, then you will just hit open it, open the file, and open it up. Uh, just resuming your uh, project that you had been worked on in, in the past. You have uh, Magic iDVD, which is the very, very basic way. You just go down, you click your, click your movie, click your uh, music, click your, uh, let's see, your titles and stuff, and then it just burns it. That's that's the easiest way. You can't really personalize, I guess you call it, um, your DVD and how you want it. Um, and then you've got your one-step DVD, which you practically plug in your camcorder and pick a theme, and it just, it's okay. You just play around with it. Right, I'm going to do create a new project because this is the easiest way uh, to not only make yours more personal, uh, but also you know make be, be more creative. But it's, it's so easy, so anybody can do it. Um, so don't be scared about making a full project here on DVD. All right, what you want to do when it comes up? What's the project name? I'm going to do Cancun. Uh, vacation and you can do standard widescreen where you want to save it at whatever I'm gonna do widescreen okay here is the main menu that's going to come up whenever you open your project you're going to have your main I guess project here in the middle your themes buttons which is like little logos that you press to add movies choose whatever that from that and media themes that's your main part of how to start your first project all right so leopard comes with the 7.0 features or themes and this is your basic stuff like that and this one is to play it and to stop it preview and right here is your drop zones this project only has one drop zone so I'm going to take this little beach scene here I pulled off online and put it right there. In this project it doesn't exactly show up very well so I'm going to pick a different project. Now there's different themes you can choose from. To get the best variety just go to all and it'll automatically pop to all of them and I know a really good one that would go this one right here. Let's see right here this is a really really cool theme and you've got road trip things and wedding themes and just just stuff you can play around with. Okay, so there's my one drop zone. It, it automatically transfers information. You see, it already says Cancun vacation. That's the cool thing about this program. Second one, drop it right there. All right, I've got my title here. Once you've got your title, if you want to change the thing of it, you can go in uh, and change the, not only the font uh, but the size. All right, uh, if you make it blue, you can take it around the screen wherever you want it if you want it right there or whatever um, I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm going to come right over here and put add movie you can add sub sub menus which is if you go over here to like right here and it has this little bar by it this will be your sub menu okay so I have regular menu and I have chapter and then I have extras. 
So if I want to add a, add a sub menu, so say this is my main menu, and then you have like, uh, say you had a, a wedding there. So you say wedding ceremony. You, you'll click on it, and your title will say wedding ceremony. And then when you click on that title, when you click on that, it'll bring you to another uh, chapter. And then, of course, your extra, whatever, um, you know, fit to you, I guess. So I've got my title. I've got my main menu here. Let's see what, how it looks. Pretty cool. Showed the first picture and faded into the next picture. It has these cool little fonts flowing by that spells out Cancun Vacation. Very cool. Alright. Um, this one doesn't have music. A lot of them do. This one has music. This one has music. So, if you want to add music, it's really easy. You just go to your media, you get your music, your iTunes, or whatever, and say I want. She's only happy in the song. That's really cool. You just take the file. I know you may not want to see. Now, when I play my. Project. That is how. I know you may not. If you don't take the audio out, um, you can just eject it right here. Take that out, just like that. Just drag it off. You can mess with this. All I did was uh, right click, show right there. Spectrum window. Alright, last thing. Adding movies and adding slideshows. Slideshows are obviously just pictures with some music in the background. And movies are full movies. So, you get this movie here. It says add movie here. I've got a little movie over in my thing here. So, what I'm going to do is... This is not actually a beach thing whatever, but whatever. I'm just going to drag it right there and drop it. And you can double click on it and put play. Movie or whatever whatever you want to name it as, I guess. And I'll place it right here. And then all you do is if you want to play it in full screen as if it's really DVD, you just hit this little play button and it uh, previews it in your DVD player. Um, it doesn't export it, it just shows you a little example of it. You can play around with the themes, the buttons. The buttons are your um, little things you want to press, like by, by the side of it. So say I like want a star or whatever, you can put a star. Say you want a triangle, you can put a triangle or whatever. Um, I just kind of like like this, it's real basic. Okay, and the media is obviously your music. Uh, photos. It's pretty organized right here to take your photos and just drag them over into your drop zones and also your movies and if you don't have them on your desktop already. So, really, really cool organized program that Apple has made iDVD. To burn your DVD, uh, you just click this button right here, which says burn this iDVD project to a disc, and you just click that right there. It'll say insert your recordable DVD. Click, put it in, and it'll automatically burn it. I've had movies that'll burn from taking two hours to taking 30 minutes. Really, I guess it really depends, it depends on how much information you have. So that's the basics of iDVD. If you have any questions, just leave a text response. I will be glad to uh, go more into detail. Um, if you're confused about anything that I've talked about here on IVD, iDVD, I can go over that again. And uh, it, it's, it's going to be the Macintosh Tips username. Uh, go ahead and hit that five-star rating, that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks.